Good morning. Hey, it's time for Pioneer Update. We always like to talk with someone in the district on what's going on in the Basel Public School System. I mean, you know, we start at the elementary, do middle school, uh, junior high, high school, and members uh, of the administration. And today we have a member of the administration with us. It is Assistant Superintendent Mr. David Campbell. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Gary. This program a service of the Citizens Bank, a bank built for you. And if you haven't checked it out, you need to. Citizens Bank of Batesville. Well, Pioneer Footballers got a big win uh, on Friday night. But I want to talk about COVID. <laughs> you <bet. laughs> you no, please yeah. don't. Unfortunately, uh, we have to. But, hey, the good news is that across the district, our positive cases are down. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a trend that many districts are seeing. Uh, yes. Independence County still is having some flare-ups. But uh, district-wide, we are just extremely low. Uh, with positive cases right now, and that is very encouraging. Oh, yeah, when you look at the numbers like that. Uh, but still, yet, you're working hard to, to control. Oh, you bet. And so, you know, we've hosted various uh, vaccination clinics uh, last year and this year, and so uh, giving students opportunities, those that meet the age requirements, and, of course, right. our uh, employees. We've partnered with Bryant's Pharmacy, so a mm-hmm. big shout-out to Bryant's. Mm-hmm. And uh, just on a positive note, 82% of our uh, employees are vaccinated. Oh, so that's, that's good very percentage. Yeah, it sure is. And uh, I guess the school would be receptive uh, if uh, vaccinations could be given uh, to those under the age of 12. Uh, well, you know, we, look, we always look for our guidance from the Arkansas Health Department and CDC. And then, of course, we listen every week to the governor so, and, uh, and Johnny Key at the State Department. So mm-hmm. uh, we kind of follow their lead. But anything that can provide a healthy environment for our students, you know, we're, we're up for that. We're still practicing those three W's of wear your mask, wash your hands, and wash your, watch your distance. Mm-hmm. And I think really schools are probably one of the safest places people can go during this COVID environment because every day we're taking measures to sanitize our environments. Mm-hmm. And that's really neat. And one other thing I want to talk to you about, David, and that is uh, you're getting some new buses and it's going to cost the school district Zero. You know, that is exciting. Uh, uh, every district receives some uh, federal dollars. We call it COVID money. It's ESSER funds, but kind of generally we call it COVID money. And, mm-hmm. and we've done various things throughout our districts, uh, upgrading technology, of course, purchasing PPE for safety. But one of the things we were able to do, and we were actually one of the first districts in the state uh, to be able to do this, we were able to uh, apply for some new buses. And actually, we have 13 new buses scheduled to roll in in November. They'll all be equipped with AC. And so what that means is every student in our district will be transported in a safe uh bus with air conditioning what that Mm -hmm. does that that improves air quality and that helps us fight covid and so Mm -hmm. that's just uh that's just something we're trying to do to be more efficient and provide safe transportation for the students in our district and your transportation department's been doing a really good job this year you bet shout out to robbie cox and his team they do a fantastic job yes uh would you say that uh the district is uh past uh all of uh, the election results and moving forward and uh, looking forward for a great school year. Oh, you bet, always. Uh, we're we're uh, planning to uh, have some meetings, of course, with the board and central office and uh, uh, listen to the feedback and move forward. As we always say, onward, pioneers. You bet. And the pioneers are moving forward. Good to have you, David. Good to see you again. Thank you, Gary.